Let's go ahead and get started with uh, the project here. Um, I have my post-it note to the side. If you haven't already decided where to place it, um, I just kind of put it uh, on the top right of my page. Um, you can put it wherever you want. Uh, it does not have to, you do not have to copy me. If anything, I say don't copy me. Um, you know, try to, uh, you don't really know what this entire thing is going to look like just yet. Um, so it really doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, so if you're not confident, put it where I put it, but I will challenge you and say, be confident and just put it where you want. All right. Um, so the good thing about doing this, right. Um, is that I've already finished pretty much a quarter of my drawing, right? You already did it, um, in the previous lesson. So now, you know, we don't have to fill up the entire page. Okay. So the thing that I'm doing here to connect my post-it note to the rest of my paper. Um, let me wait until my hand moves out of the way here. Okay, if you notice, right, I had some of these um, little sushis here, they were cut off on the edge, right? I specifically told you guys to leave some that are cut off on the edge, all right? The reason we're doing that is because since they're cut off here, right, right here, it's cut off, you can now continue that um, that sushi, so that if, or if whatever food you choose, right, uh, you can now continue it on the sketchbook paper. So it makes a seamless transition onto the paper. Okay. If you didn't have anything like that, it's gonna make the post-it note really stand out. Um, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world if you've done that, because you know, the post-it note is still something you can change and you're going to see me do that in a second as well. All right. Just because you've already finished a post-it note in the previous assignment doesn't mean you can just like you, you have to like keep it the way it is. Right. Even if you use pen, you can always add to it. All right. So, uh, just finishing up, I'm starting off by finishing up all of the, um, the, the pieces that get cut off, right? Because those are the, I don't have to think about anything there. I just have to remember, oh, they got cut off. So I might as well finish them, right? The easiest place to start. So here you'll see that I've added, uh, a bit to the, um, the post-it note here, right? By continuing, I'm following all the same rules basically that I followed, um, that I followed in the, uh, previous lesson, right? I made this piece here, this larger piece, number five, uh, look like it's underneath the, um, previously drawn sushi, uh, by, you know, making sure that I don't draw those lines through here. Okay. I just stopped, right? So notice here, I added this little section to the post-it note, as I mentioned, right? So just to reiterate, number one, you start by finishing anything that was cut off. Number two, okay, start adding stuff underneath the pre-existing or already drawn foods, okay? And again, just to remind you guys of the uh, instructions from last week, you wanna continue, like you still wanna pack everything together, right? So continue really close or underneath um, something that you've already drawn. And in this case, since we uh, we're starting from the post-it note, you're going to have to add to the post-it note. Okay. And it's again, totally okay to add to it. And right, you're basically going to do this, uh, for the entire page. Um, but for, uh, the sake of example, I'm starting to draw really big ones. Um, I don't want to explain this just yet. I'll explain in the next video. Just remember focus for now on, uh, finishing anything that get, got cut off and starting to add new stuff to your, um, to your drawing. 